Welcome back guys to this new video of TechPress. Today we're going to be focusing on the Ring Central. This one is an all-in-one communication solution designed for businesses and individuals. So, let's get started. So if you're new to the Ring Central, this tutorial will got you through the basics to get you started. So let's jump right in. The very first thing to do is to understand what exactly is the Ring Central. As I just told you, this all-in-one communication solution design offers features like the phone services. They can help us to design businesses and much more. Now, it offers features like the video conferencing, they have the team messaging, and there's so much more to cover in here. So to sign up for the Ring Center, you have the link to download the description guys so we can all get started to early for free. Now directly into the sign up to unlock the free elements that were here in the Ring Central, it's going to be asking you how are uh, working with how many people are into the um, into your into your company. So in my case, I'm going to type my full name, your work email, the business phone number, and a valid company ID. So I'm going to try to use this one and go for view my demo. So here's my demo library. We can get to know the powerhouse products designed for collaboration and the customer satisfaction. So you can check this out. I'm going to close this pop up. And as you can see, here are the chapters where you can get started with the elements of the ring sell through. Here are the icons to navigate so you can start making some phone calls, we have the inboxing um, and much more elements. Now what we do have here in the left part is the inbox to access and voice mails. We can start and schedule some video meetings inside the left part says um, meets the messaging where you can start with the team messaging, adding teams, direct messages, adding favorites and much more. Into the phone section, you can start a phone call packaging with the power features including the live transcription, real-time note taking, call recording, and call routing. There is some dial at the phone number. We have the contact generation, the inbox of everybody who is working in here, and of course, to the tour of creating mails inside here into the Ring Central. Now, to check out more about the media, uh, video meeting packed with the powerful features, you can add live transcription and closed caption. The camera helping you if you're working with, uh, let's say, for more people who are in different countries, different languages, you can use the live translator. And of course, what you can do is to sync your Google with Outlook calendars to host interactive product services and much more elements. So it's going to be really, really great to use this kind of elements for that. The messaging that can be helping you to send connection, the emojis, the group text. I'm going to hit now into next, continue my tour, and focus into the messaging. It's going to help you to chat one on one with my group chat, where I can bookmark messages, share files, manage the tasks, and check how many people mark as favorite, personal folders, and much more. If you have the calendar task, where I can help to get started with my tasks. We can filter them by the group and manage my event. So, and lastly, of course, what we do have are the files that we can share into the lab part. Now, the fax is not commonly used, but still is available into this great re element. So, we can send, receive, and manage my faxes into just one click into the inbox section and the touring of the central. Now we have the support section where I can check out more applications that can be helping me to manage much more stuff. Adding in, for example, Google Drive, I can add uh, emailing campaigns, Gmail, MailChimp, and much more elements, depending on what you're actually trying to aim for. And of course, lastly, the analytics. The analytics can be helping you to understand everything about my business analytics. I can see my sales, I can see the widgets, how many calls I do have, inbounding, outbounding, and much more elements. So, I do have now like a quick tour of how I can start the pod and drag and drop you to see my organized departments. I can see how it actually works. I can see how we can check out the results into the view section and the analytics of more. So lastly, we have the administrator board that can be helping you to company settings among other to check out the whole managing and the right of application. Lastly, what you want to do is to create invitations, to send invitation, invite people to your team and much more. If you have any question, if you think that there's something that they need to help us with, there is now the help center. It can be helping you to check out what is the main topic you're looking for. And just in case you want to check out videos on how to do something, they have short videos of the quick learning that can be helping you to get started. You can filter them by easily or go into the explore tab so you can check out the community section. 
or check out what is actually new into the application and what you can do is to contact them directly and figure out how to get started with the help center so basically guys that is how you can actually get started using the ring central that ink element you want of course to organize your element and make sure that we are eligible to get started into this great great layer of the ring central and once you have to check out and you have all the requirements to get started and i believe that we are now ready to get started and asking for the very first account directly inside the ring central there are some plans and prices you want to check out which one fits for you the best but the core actually comes really really great and have a limited calling as ms google integrations visual voicemail and much more elements so with that being said guys we have reached to the very end of the video we now know how to get started with the ring central hopefully this was a very useful information once again if you have any questions you can check out the link down below in the description or to go directly into the ringcentral.com fast forward slash help support center so once again thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully you can all see you next time